Well, folks, we are uh, back at this, trying to tackle this grill. Hopefully today's a better day. <laughs> we uh, we kind of got everything zapped in. And it's pretty pretty much straight, as far as I can tell. Looks pretty good. Might be a little bit of tweaking up here and stuff yet, but we'll figure that out. Uh, where we left off, we were struggling with the hood, like widening it and getting things to fit right there. But uh, the only thing that kept bothering me about this was I added two inches to the grill, and I don't know why, but it gives you the illusion it's doing this. So what I did was we got the hood on here. The hood is straight because the line is following. It just jives and follows the line nice. So as far as I know, that is good. So what I'm kind of going by is I'm going to off the edge of the hood here, just the straight edge. We're just going to come till we hit the line, which kind of leads me up to this mark. So I'm thinking we're going to end up doing this mark and the grill is going to look fatter across, but I think it'll look square. It'll look more straight with the hood lines, the front and back. I mean, this one has a little bit back, but I really doubt the front was supposed to do this. I think it's supposed to be straight. In my eyes, it should be straight. So we're going to do that. We're going to mark that out. That way we can kind of cut this loose and then we can kind of deal with the top of the hood. Get this welded in good we'll be able to split this later but for now i want to kind of get this get this butt welded onto there then we can kind of double flange this or we can figure out what we got to do to stiffen this front part up but once the grill is done that's my big goal is to i guess get the hood top and this done and hopefully get the the grill where we were hoping to get in the last video kind of get it redone with that that little flange for the hood to rest on I think that's going to be my goal. I'm not too worried about the hood sides yet. We might just try to cut them up and see how straight that gets, or we'll build straight from scratch. I don't know. Anyways, I, uh, yeah, I think we kind of have a game plan. We'll see how, how that sticks, but <laughs> we sure uh, fell off the, the wagon there last round, so I have good feelings this time. We're going to do it. Anyways. I guess we'll get started here. Uh, we'll figure this part out, get this stapled so we can do a cut. And then uh, I can start working the top edge, I guess. Yeah, I think so. All right, so let's get going.
So we have pulled the hood off. Not worried about that right now. For now, I just want to get some strength into this thing because it's pretty flimsy. I'm not worried about welding this up solid or butt welding it yet. I just want to make this inner lip, which is very small. I'm going to keep it similar to the stock one, wherever it is. Mind you, maybe I can reuse some of it. We'll find out. Unless I've completely thrown it away. I don't know now. <laughs> I can't actually find it. What did I do with it? Me. I'll check. It might be under the car or something. Anyways, yeah, we're gonna either, I'm gonna reuse some of that thing or we're gonna build one from scratch. I'm not sure. We're gonna do that first. Then we can test fit the hood. We can trim it back, do whatever we gotta do. This still looks messed up, but I think once there's paint on it, it's at least straight. Like it is straight. You can't tell, but it is. There's a very deceiving thing going on there. Okay. Well, either I'm going to find that or I'm just going to start from scratch. I don't know yet.
Well, these gloves don't make regular, good, regular work gloves. <laughs> All right. Well, it's coming around. I'm gonna work the edge here a little bit, but things are kind of wanting to work. I think this is okay. I think it's too high because I kind of slipped this on, but I think this needs to be almost flush with the top. It's pulling too much up, I think. It's kind of what I'm feeling is happening. But we have like a crappy gap, but like I say, things are starting to make sense and fit. Overall, yeah. There's something weird here, but I think that's just my hood in general. We can fix that. Same with this side. It'll come, I think. <laughs> I don't know. We'll figure it out. But you can see here, look how that thing's going. So I have it bolted in, but I think the thing's too tall. So at least this is like snug together. Things are looking okay. I guess what I can start to do is flush weld all this stuff. Well, down here is already happening. Up here, we can do our butt weld, get that done. I can even do the front of the hood here for now. Uh, I almost want to take the hood off to do these slivers. Would be ideal. Man, I'm just making tons of work for myself, eh? There's just all kinds of weird fitment issues, but I think it's just because everything is the wrong stuff for the wrong cars. Like over here, half of the hood's not terrible. The other half is like, we're using a finger measurement and it's, it's that. So I'm, I don't really dig that, like that needs to come in a little bit. So, I don't know. But you can see it's a hair bit off, so maybe the hood, well I don't know. The hood fits good down here. It's right around here, it just starts to drift. So being just a flat edge, I don't know, it'd be just, I guess we'll weld a sliver in there. Same with the other side, although this is a bigger gap, but I'm okay with that gap. Especially if we put a, you know, there's supposed to be some cushion in there. We put that in there, it'll be fine. This one needs to be tightened up a wee bit. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's start welding some junk and then uh, we'll see where we get to. I know we'll have to deal with that yet.
had to roll it out. Just love looking at this thing. <laughs> Anyways, we kind of weld it up. We still need to do more work there. This is looking the part. I don't think the hood's actually gonna be that bad if it was just had some extra on the front. So I'm kinda just playing with this idea. I know we gotta redo the bottom, so I, I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm coming up with a game plan here. I'm thinking somewhere if we split, do this, add here, <laughs> we might be able to make this all work and use most of this hood yet. But, uh, well, we got a straight gap whatever that is, two inch, two and something. We can do that. I'm gonna be happy with the outcome after. Uh, I'll have to figure out like our, a hood ornament or make something, I don't know yet. But, I am digging it. I know folks have been talking about the, uh, the bumpers. You can only suck them in so much. But I know that, I, want, I do wanna have them tight. I don't have, like them hanging way, way out like this one. I'd like to suck it in about like that. I don't know how much closer you want to go. It doesn't make any sense beyond that. Anyways, uh, what was I going to think? Oh, these doors. I know everybody always said move the grill in, but I think that would be a messed up look if the grill was sucked in, because then I don't know how. You'd have to reshape the whole front of the car and everything, and that just doesn't jive. The other thing we can't do is we can't really move the fenders back, because you can see where the peak of the fender sits back here. So. If you open the door, we're already can only open the door so much. I mean, you don't need to open it any more than that. But if I was to open it, like bring the fenders back too much, then this keeps getting smaller and smaller. The opening to get in and out of the car. So before it'll bump a fender like that. Anyways, I think we got a game plan. I'm gonna keep working on this hood some more. I think I'm gonna pull it off, and we're gonna start doing the center here. Get that thing done. And then we'll, I think we're gonna start looking at trying to figure out what we're gonna do over here with this latchy bit and possibly that bottom.
Well, that turned out to be a lot of work. <laughs> Still got a little bit of tweaking to do here, but I was trying to get this really straight. I wasn't happy with some of this, so I recaught it, welded it just to get it more flush. Uh, the goal is I really am going to try to avoid putting primer on here, or um, uh, Bondo. I'd like to just be able to give it one or two coats of some high build and uh, just work it that way. Hope so. I don't know. Still got a little bit of... A little bit of hammer and dollying still the workout. Things need to be tweaked a little here or there, but overall we got not bad gap. And uh, we got basically the hood top on this side done. So this is here, here. There's a few, some uppity dents in here and things. So once that's done, I'm gonna actually just walk it through the English wheel really quick. Well, this one's done. I tried taking this lower one off, but the the rod doesn't slide through and I really don't want to heat the whole thing up so we'll just leave it as it is for now. Um, we kind of reinforced the rod on the edge on both. I know it doesn't have that originally but I added that in there just to give it some strength because we've basically made a floppy bit on the end that has no hinge action to it so trying to make sure everything is strong and will stay in place. Other than that, this side is good. So. Now, I gotta spend a couple more hours. We're going to uh, repeat the process. Um, it'll be a couple hours for me and it'll be maybe a minute for you. <laughs> As we try to do the exact same thing to the other side of the hood here. And uh, then we can slip that centerpiece back in and we can see if we did a good job or not. I'm pretty happy with it. It's not too bad. All right. Well, let's cue the time lapse. Boom. Just so you can see how slow I'm going, <laughs> or how slow this is, I'm uh, using a small pair of vice grips. It keeps the sheet nice and straight because when I do a cut and I stab it in there, it's uh, perfect about an inch before it. So that's how I kind of been zapping along. So, cut, 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 zap, zap, zap. That's kind of the whole process. Peel the excess off. I now pinch. It should tight. I should feel tight when you're holding the clamp, like uh, the sheet metal by itself. It's kind of how I'm going. There's a decent amount of tension on it. So when I get between these panels, I don't feel any gap. It's cold on the panel and I'll do a bunch of spot welds across there. Or at least a few stitches. That makes it so this doesn't take so crazy long. <laughs>
<clears throat> it breaks it up if I keep stitching across. That's why I don't do live film. This would get pretty boring, eh? <laughs> uh, so yeah, I don't know that it matters because uh, my welder settings, everybody always asks, what do you have your MIG set at? This is a MIG pack 140. I don't even know whatever my, my CFH or whatever the heck I'm running. I run like, I don't know, like seven to 10. I don't know if that's really relevant. You can run it as low as you want, as long as your weld's clean in my eyes, but anyways, uh, that for what I'm doing right now, this is like 18 gauge, I think. No, this is probably, yeah, this might be like, no, it's, I think this is like 19. I don't know, it's kind of heavy. Anyways, I'm running it on B and my speed is like three and a half to four. It varies how long I'm welding. That's why the, it's important to know how to set your welder up. Because uh, I run a B three to four, three and a half right now. Sometimes I have to go four, sometimes I gotta go four and a half. I think it depends. I think my welder's just a little worn out. So it's kind of, if you use it a lot, you have to tend to bump the wire speed a little bit. And then all of a sudden it'll just be too fast out of the blue and I just gotta go back down to three and a half or whatever it is, but eh, it is what it is. Take it for what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna finish this up, grind her down. Uh, I might touch up some of here. I think I've tried plenishing this, it just doesn't want to play nice, so I might do another cut up here and uh, redo the welds just to, because I, I can say I, I would like it if I don't put Bondo on there, that'd be nice if I can just do it with build, high build primer, but you don't know. Like the rest of the hood's got some, a little bit of buggery with it, so we gotta fix that. Anyways. Back to it. Boy, oh boy, did this can of primer give me some problems. I, uh, it kind of keeps plugging up the nozzle. There must be something in there that plugs the straws sometimes. I just pressurize it with the uh, uh, air hose, but it kept gumming it up. And then I think I eventually I blew the straw off. So now it works, but only upside down. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Anyways, I am pretty happy the way that looks there. We got a nice line going there. 
This is still buggered. We're gonna have to fix these gaps. But uh, at least like the hood top, we kind of got what the look I wanted. Well, we're getting there anyways. Our next battle is gonna be this lower hood section. I uh, like the bottom part here will latch in and it's good. I think we should leave at least an inch maybe uh, there just for like some flexi flex with the hood and stuff. And uh, once that goes over there, so we'll rebuild the bottom. I think I, I bought some round rod. We'll kind of do the shape into there. And then up here, we're gonna have to cut this latch off and just move it towards the front because it's gotta kind of cinch everything down. The only problem is it's not piano hinged up there. I might try to do it because I think when this thing gets, when you tug down to pull everything, it'll kind of pull the top of the hood down, which it can't do right now because this is not attached to anything. <laughs> But I think it should be pretty straightforward and I don't think it'll look too bad like there is some extra but I don't know I think overall it'll be okay I don't think it'll matter anyways that was a long day I think I am gonna leave it at that I want to thank you all for watching and uh, we will catch you on the next one later <laughs>